Hi, my name is Miriam Pascual, and my partner's name is... Hi, guys. My name is Dan Castro. And we'll be presenting our Biology 120 final video project. Dan is going to be talking on the next slide. Our topic for today is animal. We'll be, we'll be talking about the Mexican alligator lizard. This presentation is about what we learned about this organism, which is the Mexican alligator lizard. Okay. We will be presenting the organism's genus and species. We will also teach the viewers the classification, their specific structures, reproduction, and their facts. I hope everyone enjoys our mini lecture about the Mexican alligator lizard. The Mexican alligator lizard, also known as the green arboreal alligator lizard. This type of species is endangered and it can harm human beings. This type of species can be found in Puebla, Veracruz, and Oaxaca. And they most likely live in a humid climate temperature or in a desert where there is rain. To carry on every single day, they hunt insects as their nourishment. Their location is, is on Central America. The characteristics and classifications. I'll be passing to Mary Pasquale. Characteristics, classification. <laughs> there are reptiles. There are green and orange. And, and their skin type are scales. They live up to 10 to 15 years. They weigh 20 to 25. Their size of their length is between 160 millimeters and 320 millimeters. And fun fact, according to AZ animals, this organism shed their skin like snakes. The Mexican alligator lizard usually live in trees in Mexico clouds forests, and they can live up to about 10 years. Most of them eat insects. You can see on the picture that the Mexican alligator lizard are usually bright green. And for the next slide, Ben is gonna be talking. Hi guys, I'm Ben. The classification of scientific research. <laughs> Their kingdom is Animalia. Their phylum is Cordata. Their class is Reptilia. Their order is Quamata. Their family is Anguidae. Their genus is Abronia. And their scientific name is Abronia Graminia. I'll be passing to Mary Pascal. Reproduction and life cycle. The female Mexican alligator lizard are usually sexually mature during the third year. The female lizard gives birth to more than one juveniles. Their breeding usually occurs during the early fall or late summer, which makes their babies be born from late April to late July. But before giving birth, the Mexican alligator lizard mother will then stop eating for a month. Their mating and breeding behaviors have been done in their native habitat. The scientists knew that other alligator lizard species tend to not practice elaborate mating rituals, but instead the male alligator lizard search for females who are interested in breeding and will then become sexually active to one another and that's when sexual acts occurs between female and a male alligator lizard. Bianca is going to be talking on the next slide. The specific structure. There is a muscular flat tail on both males and female, as well as an armor-like body. Scutes and osteoderms are embedded in the skin of their backs. In addition to having four short legs, they have five toes on their front legs and four toes on their back legs. And that's it, guys.
I hope you I hope guys I hope you guys enjoyed our mini lecture about animals, which is the Mexican alligator lizard.